So this edition of This Week in WWE is going to be a bit, um, I don't know if it's going to be shorter than usual, but definitely not going to be that long. So, first things first, we all know, uh, at least I think we all know by now, that Raw on Monday was probably the worst Raw probably ever. Uh, that I've seen it is the worst ever, but I don't know about, you know, the past, because like maybe someone saw one that was like really bad when I was like uh, in kindergarten or something, you know, when I first actually started paying attention. I don't know. Regardless of such, regardless of such, the best thing this week, in my opinion, was Pete Dunn versus Jordan Devlin and the best show overall. Uh, probably this week, probably SmackDown, because SmackDown, like, all together was just pretty good. I don't, I wouldn't say the matches were just like, oh my god, five-star banger over here and over there, but no. It was consistent, and it was good, you know? So let's talk about all that. First up, we got Raw. Uh, not a lot really happened. There were two title matches. We had seen Seth Rollins versus Dean, not Dean Ambrose, versus, uh, Excuse me, Dolph Ziggler before. I just had cereal, so I'm going to probably burp a lot here, and I apologize for that if that's disgusting to people. I will say excuse me, though, you know, whenever it happens. Anyways, anyways, it was a good match, and it was the best match by far on the whole show. It just, we've seen it before. Um, there was a nothing match with no Way, no Way Jose and Jinder Mahal, and what a nothing match is is when two people that no one really cares about are facing each other in a match that does not make sense, that has no stakes whatsoever, and it just happens just for the sake of happening. That's pretty much what it was. No one, the crowd didn't seem interested in it. It just didn't make sense. But that's not something to make the worst show ever, right? Uh, the other championship match, the tag team match with AOP and Chad Gable, Bobby Roode. This feud is based off of piss. Why? It's the tag team championships. Why is a feud... For the tag team championships based off of urine. I don't, I can't fathom or understand um, their reasoning or logic. And I'm not going to try to. I'm just going to say it was stupid. And there you go. It, just completely unnecessary. Can it just be about the tag team championships and Chad Gable and Bobby Roode not knowing how they're going to be AOP because they're two hosses. They're really powerful. They got to find cunning ways to beat them they got to outsmart the team or whatever and then drake maverick gets involved so now i got to deal with the third man when they just had him on the ropes they got to deal with the third man or whatever drake maverick that could have been interesting but nah that's not what we're gonna do we're gonna base it off of piss for the tag team championships dean ambrose getting shots he his promo delivery was great but it just it we didn't need that. Nobody needed that uh, to see him get shots or whatever. And it, he could have done better. It could have been better. Just overall, it could have been better. They could have just shown Dean um, anywhere but Milwaukee or Texas. I, I get why he's getting shots or whatever. But we already saw someone in the hospital. So I feel like you don't want to do the same thing again. It's not terrible. It's just like you could have done something different right there. Uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey's thing. That was boring. Uh, I see what they're trying to do. Alexa doesn't like them, so she puts them in situations where they're not able to shine. Okay, fine. Um, it wasn't Alexa's fault that this happened. It wasn't anyone's fault that was involved in it that it happened. But it was just, it should have just done a wrestling match. Why can't we just have a match between Sasha and Bailey on Raw? What, what is the problem? Why can't they feud? Why can't they have a legitimate feud against each other? Why does it have to be danced around like a sombrero? Why, why do they have to keep saying, oh, it's possible, but then every opportunity that they get, they manage to shove away from it? Like, stop introducing the possibility if you're never going to do it. And they introduced the possibility of Dean Ambrose being there on that night because they were trying to keep people invested in watching the show, but the show was bad. So if you want people to continuously watch something, you have to, to make it entertaining. And I get that you can't always be entertaining, but your entire show is getting like, come on now. The only thing people popped for was um, Seth versus Ziggler. That's the only thing people actually seem to care about. And they've seen it so many times before. Everything else was stupid. Now, I get earlier in the show 
what happened with Elias, him getting jumped. Baron Corbin's got these guys with him. But then again, they don't really seem like tough guys when they're like, why can't he just say, hey, you got to fight um, Bobby Lashley. And then when just when Elias is about to get the upper hand, uh, distraction, interference, and then boom, there you go. Instead of jumping him at the start of the show and then at the end of the show doing the exact same thing pretty much to uh, Finn Balor. I don't get it. Apparently, a whole hour was devoted to uh, Baron Corbin. Like, he spent an hour on the show. Uh, now, Alexa Bliss is in charge of the Raw Women's Division, so I'm assuming that it's going to go over to Alexa Bliss being in charge in general until uh, until I don't know when. I'm thinking what's going to happen at TLC with Braun and Corbin. If Braun's able to show up, uh, he's going to have some friends get involved to help him out. Uh, not really friends, but just guys who have a common enemy with them. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So Finn Balor might interfere. Elias might interfere to help him out. Kurt Angle might even interfere to help him out. And then Baron Corbin will subsequently lose. And Braun will get his title match at the Royal Rumble against Brock Lesnar. I think that's what it's leading to. Anyways, SmackDown. I spent too much time talking about Raw. And it was, it was terrible. SmackDown. Overall good. We celebrated the 25th anniversary of... Uh, Jeff Hardy, that's good. We had an awesome tag team matchup for the tag team championships with the Usos and and uh, the Bar. They're not tag team championship. It was an open challenge, but not for the championships. It was a great match, and the Usos won. So I guess we're gonna get the Bar versus uh, the Usos, and perhaps even versus the New Day triple threat ladder match, triple threat tag team ladder match. Let's go! Hey, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Um. <clears throat> another thing another thing <sighs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm just trying to trying to not be angry right now because I talked about Raw and it pissed me off um, we also had Rey Mysterio uh, get into a brawl with Randy Orton who was explaining his actions Rey Mysterio was sick of it, though, because he took off his mask. He felt disrespect and trying to get his revenge. He gets a chair. He tries to punish uh, Randy Orton. Ends up paying the price for it. Like, he hit him with two 619s. He should have just left, you know, based on what they were getting at. But then he wanted more because he wanted revenge. And thus, Randy Orton got the advantage. And Randy Orton again wrapped the chair around his neck. And this time, he slammed it into a uh, steel steps, which was cool, in my opinion, you know. So I guess they're going to have a chairs match. Okay. Also, at the beginning of the show, Becky Lynch returns. Hooray, kumbaya, everybody. Let's sing it together now. Um, and her and Charlotte are going to have a championship match. But wait, there's more. A women's battle royal to close out the show. We have uh, Asuka winning that. And now it's a triple threat TLC match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That sounds like a main event. It sounds like a main event. Anyways... It probably won't be, but it definitely should be, and I'm excited for it. It's probably going to be the best match on the show, possibly. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Because Dean Everett, Seth Rollins, Dan Bryan versus AJ Styles. Speaking of AJ Styles, he returned, and he says he just wants to beat up uh, Daniel Bryan, who wasn't there. You know what I mean? And I, I, I like this. Uh, I like where they're going with this. It should be a physical battle between the two, and I'm, I just want to see that. Wrestling's fun when you see two guys beat the hell out of each other, and we're going to get to see that again. I can't wait. Uh, and lastly, I know this happened in the middle of the show. Rusev and Shinsuke, like they're going to have a feud for the United States Championship after they were supposed to have a match, but Shinsuke attacked Rusev early. So that's good to see that the United States Championship is actually getting a feud. Good. Good. Also, Samoa Joe interrupted uh, Jeff Hardy's uh, celebration. And now they're going to have a feud as well. I don't know what they're going to have. What kind of match they're going to have? A tables match, I guess? I don't know what they're going to do with them. There has to be one tables match. And uh, last time I checked, there is no tables match. I hope Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose is not a tables match. I don't want to see that. Unless it's a best, best of five tables match where we see fucking um, five table spots. That would be amazing. Uh, I don't think they're going to do that, though. I don't think they're going to do that. Anyways. Anyways. 205 Live, uh, really only thing to really talk about for that, the main event. I'm not saying it was bad, but like the main thing. 
Tina, uh, I almost called him Tina Ambrose, Tony Nice <laughs> and Buddy Murphy versus Cedric Alexander and Mustafa Ali. I said this match was going to happen one day, and now it's happening, and it's going to be amazing, right? It was. It was a good tag team matchup. Uh, problem was they wanted to do a double C4 from the top rope. Didn't work out because of a botch. They all slipped and fell. I think that's what happened. They all slipped and fell, fell, and then they just continued from there. And then Cedric Alexander will actually get the pin on Buddy Murphy. So I guess they're going to have their championship rematch uh, feud going. So I'm excited for that. NXT was a good show. Wasn't the best show ever, but it was it was a good show for NXT. Uh, weird lighting. I think they were in San Jose is what they said. I can't remember. I think that's where they were in California. Uh, anyways, some good wrestling. Uh, tag team match start off the show. Um, what are they called? The Mighty versus... Uh, Oni Lorkin and I can't remember his Danny Birch. There you go. Great tag team matchup. Not great. Good. I liked it though. And then we go on. We have Medium winning her match. I forget who she faced, but she was supposed to win and she did. Good. Lastly, we get um, what was the main event? What was the main event? Okay. Lars Sullivan versus Keith Lee. And good match. Two big men just doing the thing. Just Beating up each other. This monster's going at it, right? And I knew Keith Lee was agile, but I'm, I'm glad I got to see that in NXT. He did a corkscrew crossbody to the outside. Slingshot corkscrew crossbody that uh, Heath Slater does sometimes or has done. Regardless, he didn't win. Lars Sullivan actually beat uh, Keith Lee. So Keith Lee is not undefeated in NXT. Right now we have Matt Riddle uh, undefeated right now. And maybe Matt Riddle and Keith Lee will have a feud. And I definitely want to see that. That would be cool. But regardless of that, it was an awesome main event. And we move on to NXT UK. And I'm only going to focus on the championship matches. Jordan Devlin versus Pete Dunne. If you didn't see that match and you're like, huh, I haven't watched NXT UK before. I don't plan to. This is the match that you watch. If you watch any match, this is the match. This is it. Watch it. Watch it. Okay? I don't want to spoil, and if you don't want to be spoil, spoiled, skip to the 14-minute mark. Actually, skip to the 13-minute uh, mark. Anyways. Pete Dunn retains the championship in an amazing encounter, and I loved every, uh, all of it. I loved the selling. I loved the spots with the C4 from the top rope, from the steps, and just catching with it. Jordan Devlin, a lot better than I expected from his uh, other showings. Anyways, Tony Storm versus Rhea Ripley for the UK Women's Championship. And Rhea Ripley won. And I'm glad she won because she, um, it was already announced that she had won the championship. So if they would have changed it here, it would have been rather disappointing. So now, people who haven't seen NXT UK can start watching it now uh, so that they, they basically caught up with uh, what's going on recently you know at first it was just a bunch of tapings now i think it's all caught up i don't know who's going to challenge rhea ripley for the championship probably dakota kai maybe it might even be millie uh, mckenzie that everyone likes she's 18 years old but she's wrestling very talented but anyways as i said at the start the best thing pete dunn versus uh jordan devlin raw was bad um you could also check out Smackdown Live, if you haven't seen it, you skipped it, you can check it out, it's good. The main event of 205 Live was good, and NXT's main event was good as well. All of it, just entertaining. Regardless though, I'll see you guys next time on the next edition of WWE This Week. I'm going to go watch Smackdown again, and probably watch uh, NXT TakeOver again. Later.